Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use your hard drive to earn some money. What I'm going to share with you is how you can use your hard drive to rent out your free hard drive space to earn specifically storage coins. I wanted to do this video because there's quite a few people that don't have the money or the resources to build a GPU mining rig or even a CPU mining rig. A lot of people have got um, you know, low-end hardware, so um, cheap laptops or uh, machines or equipment that's a few years old, and they really just don't have the actual resources to, um, you know, to put in to get any sort of uh, money back out from the actual hardware itself. So what I wanted to share with you in this video is how you can use um, any free storage that you have so you can use it on your hard drive if you have any spare memory cards or USB sticks or anything like that. You can sort of uh, put these to use and earn some money uh, from them. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but in this video, I'm going to be focusing on using storage. Now, storage is a, a cryptocurrency, like any other currency. A cryptocurrency that is, you can sort of buy, sell, and trade storage coins, and they're currently trading around about 15 cents each but the actual storage network is a much uh, bigger thing uh, and storage is basically based around a decentralized um, data storage network so if you think of something like uh, Dropbox or OneDrive or the Google sort of um, drive storage platforms what happens is, um, say I have an actual sort of file that I want to save um, on the cloud effectively, um, I would upload that to one of these services and they would store it on their own hardware or servers or Amazon servers. And they would charge me to use that um, service um, after I go over a certain sort of uh, threshold. With storage, what it allows people to do is exchange or decentralize the actual uh, buyers and sellers of data storage. So if I want to um, upload my files, what would happen is I would use the storage data network. They could be uploaded to your actual machine and in return you could earn a, um, a reward basically for keeping my files um, safe. Um, there's a little bit more details that uh, obviously goes into that so you don't have to worry about um, you know me reading your files or you reading my files or, or vice versa. Um, all the data and stuff is encrypted and the whole sort of network at the moment is still being um, built upon. So I expect probably within the next sort of six months the actual network will go live uh, fully and um, you can earn sort of the best results from this. At the time being we're still in a testing phase um, but even though we're still doing testing we can still earn a little bit of um, income from our free storage space. So that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over to the actual PC and I'll show you on the actual screen exactly what you need to do to get set up with this system. Um, and how you can start earning a little bit of um, cryptocurrency from it and obviously a small income. Um, the income is not going to be huge, so please don't expect massive great returns, um, but it's something for those, you know, depending on how much um, storage space you can put in, will obviously affect your, your earnings. But it's really something that everyone can get involved with, so I encourage um, everyone to take part and um, get started with this. I think it's really going to be um, pretty huge in the future. So get started now and you'll be ahead of everyone else. So let's jump over to the uh, screen capture and I'll show you what you need to do to get started. Okay, so we're on the Windows 10 machine. Um, let's get started. So I've just opened up the actual browser. Uh, the actual program that we're going to be using it is called Stored Share. So If you go to the stored share github I'll show you exactly what you need to do to download it so obviously I'll put the actual links in the video description as well as so the current version it's the 25th of November just to make you aware and the current version is 3.0.1 so you just want to download the version that's appropriate to your your machine um, obviously I'm using Windows 10 and it's a Windows 64-bit installation so I'm going to download this one here. As a matter of fact um, I've actually already gone through this process so, but what I'm going to do is um, reinstall kind of um, over the top of itself just to show you guys um, exactly everything that you need to do to get up and running using the uh, storage share uh, hard drive storage platform and um, you know so you can get the best results from it. So as always, I'll take you through it um, step by step. 
So that's just downloaded now, and we can just go to our downloads folder, or in your case, you know, wherever you guys download it to, maybe a desktop perhaps. And then we're just going to double click on the actual application and we're going to run it. So it just confirms you want to install the stalled share version free, so we do. If you have any of the previous stalled share um, installations installed, it will just automatically update those. So maybe if you watched one of my previous videos, you might have a really old version. In that case, it will get um, removed and updated. Okay, so that's the actual installation completed. Let's just close that. The actual application should open up automatically. And this is what it's going to look like. So this is our main um, kind of user interface. Uh, after the actual initial setup, we normally just run it minimized and it just closes to your um, system tray and it runs from there. So I'll go through each of the actual boxes part by part and um, show you exactly how to set it up. So I've got some previous uh, installation, that's why you can see a payout address, um, a storage location, and also a storage size. Um, but for you guys, you won't um, have any of these details. So I'll just show you how you can set up a new drive. So the first thing that you guys want to do is go to add new drive. And then the first part it's gonna ask you for is a payout address. So this is a storage or a counterparty address. Um, if you don't already have one, um, please check through my videos. Once again, I'll link in the actual video description how you can set up a counter wallet or counterparty address. Um, you don't need to have any funds in it, you just, but you do need just the actual um, address itself. So this is my address here for one of my accounts. So I'm just going to copy and I'm just going to paste that in there. Control and V to paste the actual um, the right menu, right click menu doesn't work on your mouse. The next part is the storage location. So this is where the actual um, files for the actual stored share network are gonna be stored on your local machine. So it kind of doesn't really matter exactly where you decide to put them. Um, it can be anywhere. I'll just use uh, drive F, which is a one terabyte drive. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is in this folder I'm going to create a, uh, sorry, in this drive, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm just going to call it stored share demo. And then what I'm also going to put in is a reference to exactly how much um, size I intend to use with this folder. So stored share demo, and I've put it at 10 gigabytes. So if I just click off that and then back onto it, you can see that folder is now selected. Um, so you can do this, basically you want to um, select a folder or create a new folder for any drive that you wish. So you can do it on your local drive or an external drive or it can be a USB stick or however you want to do it. But just select the drive and like I say I normally create just a new folder with a reference to how much size is going to be uh, used in there. So we select that folder. So you can see the storage location has updated now with the details and the next part it says is the storage size. How much storage do we actually want to allow this program to use? So on the folder, I already said 10 gigabytes. Um, this shows the actual free storage available on the actual, the entire drive itself. So you could use a maximum of 31. So, but in this case, I'm just gonna set it to 10 to match the folder size. Just so we can keep track of how much data should be or should not be in there. So select the storage size, 10, gigabytes, you can obviously change the actual um, size, megabytes, gigabytes or terabytes, we'll leave it as gigabytes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press start. What's going to happen from here is it's going to check, do a few um, checks, make sure your um, clock is synchronized is one of the actual things that it does. And then it connects to the actual storage network. And it's what it's going to do is bring chunks of data to your machine and save them on your local hard drive. So what you'll see in this bottom part here is peers, and that should increase um, slowly over time. Basically, the peers are how many connections you've got to the rest of the network. And a higher number of peers is better, it just means that you've got better connections all around. Contracts are the actual sort of chunks of data that are stored locally on your machine. And that will increase, it will start off quite slowly, but then 
um, for 10 gigabytes of data, you'll, you'll probably have around about 5,000 contracts uh, as that sort of fills up. This bar is here is like a progress bar, and over time it will gradually sort of uh, fill up. Uh, your last activity is just the last time it connected to the network or done something in particular. While this program is actually running, uh, you will notice that you'll have um, quite a fair bit of hard drive activity and you'll also have um, quite a bit of network activity as well, especially in the first part whilst it first um, fills up. Obviously it's going to be downloading um, 10 gigabytes of data. Um, so you'll notice a little bit of activity. Your uh, machine might seem a little bit slow at first or a little bit laggy, um, but just leave it running um, and it, it will it, once it's basically completed or it starts filling up, it'll get it'll use less uh, system resources and you won't notice it as much. So what you do from there is you could just minimize it or you can close it and it will just go to the actual system tray. That's the little logo for it there. And once it's been running for a day or two, you should, like I say, you should notice this progress bar filling up and then you'll have more storage contracts and then from there you can start earning money. So let me just show you one of the uh, other drives that I've got here. So you can see it's on the same power address. The allocated space is 25 gigabytes and it's saying that we're using all of that storage space. So if I wanted, I can now add a new section of space and you know keep on increasing and, and, and sharing more space for the actual network itself. Uh, you can see we've got seven peers and we've got uh, 133,686 contracts um, for that space. So like I say, the contracts are just the actual chunks of data. Um, talking about uh, rewards and how you're gonna actually be uh, paid out for your efforts, is stored share at the moment has a manual payment system so what they do is they're manually monitoring all the people that are providing storage onto the network and then they basically crunch the numbers um, see who shared what and also what your uptime is that's also important please keep the miner up and running for as long as possible to have the best uh, you know um, the best chance of your uh, rewards so you want um, a high, high uptime as well as the actual storage space that you're sharing. And then the, the guys over at storage will do like a manual calculation and then depending on how much you've stored and your uptime, they will reward you proportional to, to that amount of um, effort effectively. So if I go to these, um, this is the actual uh, blockscan.com. So it's a blockchain explorer for the uh, counter wallets that are available. And you can see here at the top I've entered my address, the same one as uh, I just showed you to set up. And if we go sort of looking through the history, so originally I funded it with a 1000 storage. And by the way, you don't need to put any funds in. Now previously they asked for some funds to be deposited onto your storage address, but you don't need to do that anymore. You can just start with zero. And then roughly around the um, 18th of each month, they will pay you or reward you for your mining efforts. So the other thing is you've got quite a long wait before you're actually rewarded for your efforts, but um, just stick with it and you will be uh, you know, rewarded for your efforts. If you have any problems, you can just go to the, I think they've just changed over to Rocket Chat now, but previously there was on Slack um, and, and that's the best way to discuss any sort of um, issues uh, with those guys, but they're, they're pretty good in terms of paying out, you shouldn't have any problems. Anyway, so you can see on the 13th of the 8th, um, I received um, five storage, um, on the 18th of the 9th, uh, 42 storage, 18th of the 10th, uh, 27 storage. Um, there's just an extra payment there, which is just some karma tokens. I honestly don't even know what they is. They're just some freebie token and it's not related to storage. But you can see that there's essentially monthly payments and I've been sharing about um, 25 gigabytes of storage onto the network. So not a massive amount. Really, this account here was just for testing. And um, I have some other accounts as well and um, those ones have earned uh, a little bit more because they're sharing and um, provide a little bit more extra space to the network. Let's just see if we've got any other... Um, yeah, so we've just seen our sort of contracts are just about coming through there. Let me just show you if we go to the actual storage space itself. Uh, so it was stall shared demo 10 gigabytes. You can just see there's a folder in there and then in here you've got some information and the shard data is I believe where the current contracts are saved. They keep changing the folders on a regular basis so that might not actually 
be true, but that's where the data is are going to be stored for the storage network there. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching. Um, as always, any questions or comments, please leave those in the actual video description. Um, I'll put links uh, to everything you need also in the video description to help you guys get started. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like if you haven't done so already. Um, subscribe you know, if you enjoy this kind of video and want to see more of this sort of stuff. I do upload videos like this on a regular basis. So you, if you're into crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zcash or wherever it may be, um, I cover all those kind of um, topics and it'll be great to have you as part of the community. So please consider subscribing. Um, I look forward to having you part of our little um, collective we've got going on here. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.